We need those physical barriers, and we appreciate President Trump and all of his efforts in getting us those physical barriers. Anywhere that you look where we have built walls, they have worked. That was our next guest standing with the president yesterday in the White House briefing room calling for funding of a border wall or a fence as Washington continues to fight over funding. Here with more is Brandon Judd, president of the National Border Patrol Council. Brandon, I bet in a million years you never thought you would be behind the White House podium in the briefing room making a statement like that. That's a little bit stressful. No, that, that was completely and totally impromptu. We were there for a, for a meeting to discuss border security. And w there were several points that were brought up. And he said, that's what the American public needs to hear. Let's go tell the American public. You know, he used that platform to get the message out to the American public about how he can secure the border. One thing that is very clear when you're listening to the rhetoric from Washington, D.C., Brandon, is that a number of Democrats, all Democrats uh, in Congress, to my uh, belief, uh, have said things that uh, the wall is immoral uh, and have lined up behind uh, Nancy Pelosi's comments like that or Chuck Schumer, uh, it's medieval, it does not work. But the White House and the men and women of the Border Patrol feel that what is going on on our southern border is a crisis and that needs to be addressed. Well, we, we have a bigger crisis now than what we did in 2014. And so when you look at that and, and you say, okay, what is it that we can do to actually keep f people from physically entering the country illegally? Right. And you have to say walls and fences actually work. And so that's the message that we're trying to get out to people. We're the ones who actually patrol the border. We're the ones who actually see what is and what is not effective. And we're telling Congress this is, in fact, if, if this is in fact effective you know who are these experts that you're that you're quoting that's saying that that fences don't work they're absolutely wrong um, it's proven we know it right Brandon, I can't think of any time in uh, the history of the Department of Homeland Security where frontline uh, men and women like you went to the White House and then showed up to make public statements about how you needed a particular part of the legislation to uh, be voted upon well, again, when, when you look at this, uh, I, I wish that people could understand that I have no dog in this fight other than I want border security. I've had the opportunity to speak with the president on multiple occasions, sure. and I wish that they understood that all he wants is for this country to be safe and secure. He's working for the American people. This has nothing to do with politics. It has everything to do with his desire to secure this country. And so when we do that, when he, when he comes to the front line men and women this is the first president that's ever done right. that most presidents they talk to the theoretical knowledge those that sit behind desks right. this president has come to the front line men and women and they've told him this is exactly what we need and this is what works and Brandon this is not theoretical to you with the government shutdown you're not getting paid are you I'm not. I, in fact, I work Christmas morning. I didn't see my family when they woke up Christmas morning. Um, come Saturday of next week, I will not receive a paycheck. And even though I'm not going to receive a paycheck, I 100% support this shutdown because it's that important. The American public has spoken. They want border security. And the only way that we can get border security is if we put the proper measures in place. Okay. And the wall is part of that. Let's see what happens at that meeting at uh, 1130 this morning. Brandon and Judd, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Now I want to bring in Hector Garza, who is Border Patrol agent and vice president of the National Border Patrol Council. Uh, Hector, great to see you today. You were standing actually behind the president yesterday as he was making his comments, and you were part of the group that was there to support the idea of wall funding. What do you need to keep America safe, and why a wall? So it's very, it's very clear, uh, Harris is that Border Patrol agents are the real border security experts. We've been talking about a wall, we've been talking about physical barriers. We did it in El Paso, Texas, we did it in California. Now we need other parts along the border. And we also want to make it very clear that we're not calling for a wall from sea to shining sea. We're calling for a wall in strategic locations that's going to help our agents do their job and is going to mm -hmm. keep our Border Patrol agents safe. We have to make sure that Congress funds border security and that they fund that border wall. It's so important for the American people and it's so important for Border Patrol agents to keep them safe. Do you wish at this point we could call this more what it is? Because it really isn't a wall. It's a reinforced fence line, a strong fence that's been there for decades. I mean, under former President Barack Obama in 2006 and, uh, and then forwarding on to 2012, there was money allocated for this. How would this be different from what we already have on the ground? 
Well, what's, what's, well, the way it would be different is that there's a lot of areas on all along the border that are not protected. For example, in the Laredo sector, we have 170 miles uh, of, uh, of, of river uh, border in sure. Laredo, Texas, and we have zero miles of any type of physical barrier. Uh, it's smuggling galore in Laredo, Texas. We have a lot of people that are coming uh, into the country illegally and smuggling those drugs. That's how it's going to be different, where that we do need to reinforce the border in strate strategic locations. Where are we now with the caravans that are coming here? And, and some of them have been massing in Tijuana and other areas. So we do know that they've been, they've been moving along the border. So for example, we've been seeing increased numbers of the caravan uh, in the El Paso sector. Uh, we see, still see them uh, in, uh, in Tijuana. We saw what happened on New Year's Eve where uh, there were some uh, aliens that tried to come across and, uh, and uh, they were throwing rocks at our agents. So mm -hmm. the threat is still very real, not only from the caravan, but those dangerous drugs and a lot of people that are coming into this country with criminal records. I want to point out what's happening in the center of our screen. Senator Chuck Schumer, after having a little sidebar, as we showed you on camera while Hector and I were talking with Nancy Pelosi and other Democrats outside the White House after their public comments in the microphones, uh, he then left that to go get in uh, the motorcade that will take him back to the Capitol. I, I bring all this up because we have gotten far afield from policy and we are steeped in politics right now. So you were with the President of the United States yesterday. What did he tell you about getting you what you need? So the conversation was very, very real and very detailed. We discussed a lot of different issues uh, to include the physical barrier, the wall. Uh, and that's why we made this, uh, this press briefing at the last minute, mm -hmm. because the information that we were providing President Trump was very accurate and very real, that he felt that the American public should hear us out. Uh, and we're very grateful for that. Now, we need to put politics aside, and we need to make sure that we fund border wall. You know, Pelosi, uh, uh, Mr. Schumer, they've supported walls in the past, even President Obama. I don't know why things are changing now. We need to get real, and we need to make sure that we do fund border security and we do fund that border wall physical barriers whatever you guys want to call it we need it so we can do our jobs now uh, uh, President Trump is one of the only presidents that have actually that has actually reached out to the rank and file border patrol agents to see what our needs are and that's exactly what we told him we also spoke about loopholes in the uh, in, in the law that encourage illegal immigration we talked about the asylum claim process and those are things that uh, the DHS Secretary Nielsen is already uh, working on and we look forward to some of those changes to make sure that we secure the border and we stop encouraging illegal immigration. Look, I, I know that you at the Border Patrol don't want to be caught in between all of the politics of this, but have there been Democrats who, uh, who have actually come forth and talked to you? And before you answer that question, we do have a bit of breaking news on the President of the United States. And Kevin Cork had started this reporting earlier and now we can confirm he will be making remarks in the Rose Garden shortly. We're awaiting that because we know the meeting now has broken up because we've seen everybody come out. Uh, they're streaming out of the White House now. So in the Rose Garden, we expect expeditiously to hear from the president. So I, I had just asked you um, about, and forgive me because I, I had to insert that in, Hector. Um, I'd ask you just about the politics and all this and whether or not you've talked with any Democrats if they've reached out. So we do have a very close uh, uh, relationship with several Democrats. Mm -hmm. uh, the National Border Patrol Council does have relations with both uh, parties, uh, and we have had those conversations. Uh, unfortunately, some of these uh, some of these uh, uh, talking heads that come out on the media at CNN and Fox News and MSNBC, and even some of these uh, 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 Congre congressional representatives, they talk about how the the wall does not work. But they've never spent a single day on the border. Yeah. They've never walked in the shoes of a border patrol agent. And if they were to do that, if they were to visit the border and actually get a real border tour, they would find out that the that a wall is needed on, on the southern border uh, to protect the country. Yeah, and there are other issues too. I mean, I, I have a home not far from Nogales, and so I'm very familiar with these personally. Um, but I would say this, when you have the, the reporting of two children who passed away in, in custody, I, I want to get you to talk to me a little bit about how you're handling uh, the unaccompanied minors who are coming across the border. This will be our last point. Well, well, some of the some of the Democrats were quick uh, uh, to judge our border patrol agents and what our agents did out there. Uh, it's no secret our agents rescue a lot of people on a regular mm -hmm. basis. They've they've been recognized by a lot of our, our members in Congress. Now uh, they were saying that uh, some of these kids need medical checkups, that they needed all these types of services. Well, fund border security, give us the money so we can do our job. Pay us, give us our paychecks, give us the proper money so that we can have the resources so we can train Border Patrol agents as paramedics. As it is, we have a lot of agents that are certified as paramedics so that we can provide that medical uh, attention to those people that come into our custody. Right. But again, they're quick to criticize, but give us the funding. Fund the border security, fund the border wall. Hector Garza, uh, you've been a part of the, the news stream yesterday with the, the president today and then him coming up now next. I appreciate you talking with me on a busy 24 hours. Thank you very much. I know you've got a big job to do to protect everybody down there Thank on you. both sides.
Thank you.